guys who are good friends, Francesca and Graziella. Ah. She's just happening to <laughs> have a little lasagna. Mm. They've been working so much making scacciata, which is very typical during this period for Christmas, for uh, New Year's, for the Bafana. E quante scacciata fatto questo periodo? Oggi 21 20, no? <laughs> They've made 20 of these meat pies. At least 20. I know we had some that were delicious. So here she is rolling out the dough to make the scacciata. And the typical ones are spinach, broccoli, cauliflower, cauliflower uh, some kind of a green. Tumeachuga. Achuga. Mmm, anchovy. Okay, so she bakes it on a sheet over here. That's a cooking sheet. Now she's going to put the bottom layer on there. She's making, I'm guessing, about two kilos, which is about four pounds. What's this, spinach? Okay, and now we're going to make the spinach one. So some people boil the spinach or the broccoli or the cauliflower first, but she likes to do it raw. Now we're going to put some black olives. So I asked her why she didn't boil the spinach or the broccoli. She says it changes the flavor of the scacciata. She puts a lot of spinach, and trust me, it's delicious. It does whittle down to a little bit, but it's perfect. Now a little bit of chopped scallions. But you can put anything in here, really. You can put sausage, meat, ham, any kind of vegetable, really. Next, uh, some sliced potatoes. Next, the tomato comes on. It's chopped tomato, and she puts some olive oil and salt. Not too much. A little bit more salt. They are busy here today. Next to olive oil. Generous helping of olive oil. This one's going to have some ham too. Oh, that's going to be delicious. She also made one with sausage that I'll show you in a bit. So thinly sliced ham. And next, the cheese. Pepato fresco. Pepato fresca. With the black pepper. Very tasty. A little bit salty. See, she didn't put a lot of salt because a lot of the ingredients have salt in them already. Now she's going to have to roll out the other dough, just like that, and put it on top. So now she's tucking in the sides so all that good stuff doesn't fall out. That's interesting how she does it with the knife, huh? Next she's going to put some holes with a fork so it doesn't explode. All that steam coming out from fresh vegetables that are going to be steaming in there. And then she puts a little spinach on top so she knows which kind she made. Cool, huh? Little bit of salt. Pepe nero? No. No, perché quello è a piacere. Cioè, ci sta. 
Però io non You can't, but she doesn't. Nella salsiccia. Oh yeah, because there's black pepper in the salsiccia, the sausage. And there's the olive oil. So here we are with the cheese, pepato fresco. Sì. And now Francesca is rolling out the final dough to put on the top. Quante anni? Quanti anni? Da quando avevo 15 anni. <laughs> From the age of 15, she's been cooking and teaching her daughter Graziella. Ciao Graziella! Ciao. <laughs> Look at this beautiful nativity scene they have here in the shop. And some more scacciata. That one's potato, that one's broccoli. They're busy bees in here, busy bees. Okay, there you go. There's your scacciata. E per quanto tempo in forno? Una hora. One hour. One hour. Now she's gonna cover them up so they're nice and tight. So it looks like it's ready. That's a spinach one and that's a broccoli one over there. So there you go, a little bit of peek on how to make scacciata here from Sicily. Salute Francesca. Ciao. Ciao.